Hello everyone and welcome to the Prophecy Files Briefing. We're glad that you've joined us today and I hope that you'll share this out on your social media so that other people can realize just how close we are to the coming of the Lord. This article in a secular side uh, very much makes it clear how close we are to nuclear disaster uh, throughout the United States and around the world for that matter. The doomsday clock, and this was just a few weeks ago, remains at 90 seconds to midnight. 90 seconds till midnight. According to this article, the doomsday clock was reset to 90 seconds as it's been even this past year uh, and is still the closest, it says in this article, that it's ever been to midnight, reflecting the continued state of unprecedented danger the world faces. This is the Bulletin of the Atomic Scientist that actually was founded by uh, Albert Einstein and J. Robert Oppenheimer, who were the uh, makers, inventors of the atomic bomb. According to this article, a variety of global threats cast menacing shadows over the 2024 uh, clock deliberations, including the Russian-Ukrainian war and the deterioration of nuclear arms reduction agreements, climate change, they say, uh, as well as AI and other technological issues that are in the world and the rising of wars and other um, uh, global, they say, climate uh, existential challenges that we have. One of the writers of this article, or the uh, people that is included, a PhD president of the bulletin says, make no mistake, resetting the clock to 90 seconds at, to midnight is not an indication that the world is stable. Quite the opposite. Uh, it's urgent for governments and communities around the world to act, and the bulletin remains hopeful and inspired to seeing that younger generations leading the charge. Well, it's very interesting that according to this synopsis of this particular article, that there are many dimensions to the nuclear threat that's going on that causes them to remain at 90 seconds, as well as the ominous, what they call the ominous climate control or climate change outlook as well as the evolving biological threats that are around the world, and including in this article the dangers of AI, artificial intelligence. Then the real question is asked at the end of this article, how to turn back the clock? Well, the Bible has many answers concerning what you're hearing in this particular article, and that is very important for us to understand because uh, turning the clock back is something that a lot of people, obviously these that are writing this article and including in this setting of the doomsday clock would like to see take place. There's only one thing that can cause the clock uh, that they have set uh, to be able to be turned back or even stopped and that is for a world to fall on its face before an almighty God and repent and seek the face of God for the future and for what's taking place. Return back to the Word of God as the absolute principle and standard for living. The chances of that taking place on the course that we're on right now is slim and none. And the fact is, is that we are racing closer and closer to the, to the catastrophic events that are in the future. But the Bible is not silent because we see that happening in the book of Revelation chapter number 6 in the catastrophic events of what is called the tribulation and the great tribulation that's found in the Word of God. Now, many people and preachers, pulpits, do not want to talk about this because it means that perhaps their financial undercurrents will uh, slip away or uh, that perhaps they won't have the crowd they would need to have and so forth. But you can't stop what God has put in motion and what other people see as the falling apart of the world. God is making it fall right into step and right into place. And the only thing that is holding back uh, an absolute catastrophe in this world and the cataclysmic events that will come is the Bible says in the book of 2 Thessalonians, for the mystery of lawlessness, iniquity, is already at work. Only he who now restrains uh, will do so until uh, he's out of the way, the Bible says. That is the restraining power of the Holy Spirit inside of the believer. As long as the church is on this planet, you can rest assured that the restrainer, the Holy Spirit, is in operation holding back evil. But when the restrainer is moved out of the way, the church, 
the believers on this people planet, you can rest assured that the events of the doomsday clock are going to become a reality. What we're seeing right now is the approach and the talk and conversation that's being made, even by the Biden administration, for a two-state solution that has been brought to the table many, many times before, but now is reoccurring and perhaps even a resolution to the UN uh, just to be able to put it back on the table for a two-state solution. Let me tell you something, my friends. Uh, we are teetering on the edge of the coming of the Lord Jesus Christ. It is imminent. There is no doubt about it. And it's important for us to realize that in light of these things, the Word of God always holds the answer for now and into the future. And God is patient concerning His return. Listen to the words that come from 2 Peter 3, verses 9 through 14. Hear it clearly. The Lord is not slack concerning his promise, as some men count slackness, but is long-suffering toward us, not willing that any should perish, but that all should come to repentance. That is the reason why you don't see these things taking place already. Verse 10, But the day of the Lord will come as a thief in the night, in which the heavens shall pass away with a great noise, and the elements shall melt away with fervent heat. The earth and the works that are therein shall be burned up. That is the description of a nuclear blast in the biblical uh, definition of it. Verse 11, seeing then that all these things should be dissolved, what manner of persons ought we to be in holy conversation and godliness, looking for and hastening unto the day, the coming of the day of the Lord, wherein the heavens being on fire shall be dissolved and the elements shall burn with fervent heat. Nevertheless, verse 13, we, according to his promise, look for new heavens and a new earth wherein dwelleth righteousness. Here's verse 14. Wherefore, beloved, seeing that we ye look for such things, be diligent that ye may be found of him in peace, without spot, and blameless. Most of the events that are taking place in our world as it relates to Bible prophecy are not even talked about from behind most uh, pulpits. The pulpit is silent in this hour. And it's amazing to me Perhaps that's even one more sign of the falling away and the imminent return of Jesus Christ. We're going to talk about this more in the coming weeks, but I just want to share this with you that just a few weeks from now, uh, April 8, 2024, we'll see the signs in the heavens of a solar eclipse that literally will cross an X across the United States. Not to mention the fact, and we'll discuss it more, that it is going to pass over seven different cities with the name Nineveh on them. We'll talk about that in the coming weeks. Until the next time we get together around God's Word, remember Jesus Christ is coming soon.